The content shown in this video may contain harmful and explicit language, violent scenarios, mild gore, use of tobacco and alcohol, and mild sexual activity. This content may also contain bright and flashing light sequences that may trigger viewers prone to seizures and epilepsy. Viewer discretion advised. As per copyright law, I do not own any content shown in this video. All rights go to their original creators and film industries. I am strictly making this content for the purpose of entertainment and wish no harm to the creators and crew who took part in making it. Warnings and copyright claims in the description. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's me again. Um, today's gonna be another episode of the Halloween series, and today is quite the sweet one, you know. We've got with us today Tim Burton's Corpse Bride, featuring Johnny Depp and Helena Bottom Carter. I don't really want to waste any time, so let's just get on with it. Turned off in a very grayscale universe. Very, very interesting. And that was just our homeboy we just saw. I have no interest in that guy. He look he looks like an antagonist. Oh no. So they're marrying their daughter off because now they're penniless. Uh her parents say that she's not that attractive, but I tend to disagree, really. So it's the snooty parents against the um, mildly wealthy and sort of mediocre parents who are facing their children uh, to each other because there's kind of no choice. So Victor here has a special talent for the piano. I've seen this movie before and I realized that he doesn't sing a single time. That is something that the both of them have in common. They don't sing once during the whole movie. Okay, so they've been at it for about three hours with this rehearsal for the wedding alone. Oh, it's all gone quite wrong. It's not that he doesn't want to be married. He's just, he's just a little anxious, you know? It's... You know, it's it's sort of relatable in a way. Oh god. He just restated his vows, practicing them perfectly. And now, what is this? What is this little scenario that's going on? I'm not gonna lie. She is beautiful. Oh. What sort of mystical mayhem is this? Yeah, what's going on here? Oh. Is it really? I wonder how this tale is gonna be told. Oh, of course it would be musically. This part was played pretty cleverly in my opinion. Even if it's like, just a little trippy. Oh no. Oh. Wonder who murdered her. Oh, brother. Wonder what happened here. Ooh. Oh, no. That ain't good. Oh, he's just scared and confused in this terrifying new world. Oh, I can't believe she has an actual maggot in her head. Oh, how cleverly... They, they, they... There was so much that was put into this. So many clever ideas that were put into play. Oh, it's just a little dog guy. This is this a wedding present from Emily, her name is, to Victor. Scraps. Oh, it's his old dog from when he was a kid. So now they gotta visit the uh, elder of the underworld try to find a way to temporarily go back upstairs and see Victor's parents. Oh boy, is that the spell needed to go upstairs? 
Nah, man just poured himself a drink. He's dancing under the moonlight for the first time in ages. He has got to find a way to explain something of this manner to his parents or somebody. So he's not really going to see his parents. He's going to see his supposed to be fiance. Oh boy, he just left Emily. Uh, he's confessing his feelings to Victoria? Oh, that's so sweet, love at first sight. Oh no, spoke too soon. Oh, Emily found out the truth. And now she's sobbing. She's a cinnamon roll, but technically she is supposedly the other woman. She just wants someone who loves her. But yeah, she's a little too far past her due date. It's not her fault though. Oh no. Victoria, you tried to tell people about this. You should have known that you would have sounded a little crazy. I don't think this guy knows what he's doing when it comes to the afterlife. I wouldn't trust him with anything. Oh, he's asking if he can marry Victoria, but he seems little suspicious about his explanation that he used to be married. So either way, she's stuck into a forced marriage. The first time though, it would have been better. Oh boy, Mayhew's- oh, Me oh, oh brother, I think Mayhew is done for. This is quite the apology that Victor is making, and I guess it's working. You know, they both have something in common. Oh, looks like Mayhew passed away. Probably from lung failure from how much he smoked. Victoria does not want to be there. Oh no. Their wedding is invalid? It's been invalid the whole time. He believes that he's already, you know, when it comes to him and Victoria, that relationship is done, so he might as well get on with this one. Oh, what is, um, dang it. They decided that they're going to have a proper wedding upstairs in the living land, uh, between Emily and Victor. Oh, and look at her. She got her wedding dress fixed. Not a very impressive wedding dinner. Here comes the dead. The dead will now live again. Oh, they're reuniting. They're reuniting the dead members with their living little members of their of their the families and such. Aww. <laughs> What's he going to do to stop an army of the dead from having a wedding? <laughs> it's so ironic, really. Emily. Are you second-guessing yourself? You are! You are! What's up? Oh, Emily is doing the right thing! Placing those two together the way that they should be. And of course, this guy has to ruin everything. Barkus, you're sort of losing your side of the argument. Yeah, you've proven that you've already murdered Emily. Let's go, Emily being an MVP getting back at her ex. Man's just drank the poison wine. He hasn't a clue. And there he goes. That's what she gets. Yes, sir. Now you're one of them. I guess now she can, uh, oh. You're, you're, you're in over your head, bud. Yep. There we go. And now I guess since her work is done, she can finally move on. Absolutely beautiful. Such a pleasant ending, really. So that was Tim Kurt, Tim Burton's uh, Corpse Bride. Such a very lovely movie, indeed. It's I, I don't know if it's underrated at all. Or if it's the right amount of rated, but yeah, definitely check it out. 
in terms of the next feature film that we have, we have listed, I think, another Tim Burton special uh, called Frankenweedy, which is a take on Frankenstein with pets. Can't wait to see what unfolds there because I haven't seen that one. So it's going to be exciting. Uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, stick around. Bye.